out from downtown Cleveland and Progressive Field. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And towing the slab for the Cleveland Guardians, number 39. And singing, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Tommy hey. Fan leading things off and takes a strike. That one hit to right. Sizing this one up. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Take a look at the lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Andrew Vaughn. And he's leading him in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure. And he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get yeah. these runs in. But somehow he seems all to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. One out, base is empty. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. One down, base is empty. One ball, two strikes. Goes down looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can and now it's oh, Luis Robert first off and it just misses two out spaces empty Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And yeah, the right hater deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. And the slider just misses. It's a good take. Pitch misses outside. And now three and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Right through there. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. White Sox nothing. Guardians coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. now at progressive field and pitching in this game Michael Kopech Chris his strikeout rate this year among the best all time he's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league I mean strikeouts per nine off the chart so the opposing team they know they have their work cut out for them anytime they're facing this guy or a guy like this that's going to get the swings and misses pretty much in a class of his own when it comes to that category we go to the bottom of the first here's the left fielder Stephen Kwan that well, one misses, and it's 1-0. Quan goes 5 feet 9 inches, 26 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick. 
back in 2018. In the air, out towards left center. Robert makes the grab, one away. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. Batting third. The designated hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Guardians is the designated hitter, Jose Ramirez. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And a good eye there. Just missed with a good breaking ball in, looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. And that's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Bows it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Guardians go down one, two, three. We played an inning, no score. Top of the second. Now here's the, the, the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Beloy Jimenez. Beloy Jimenez. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. Ball one, no fight. And that's too high. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. No Patty Johnson is some boog, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Tap back to the mound. To first, oh. leadoff man retired here in the second. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name, and uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Andrew Vaughn in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Next offering in there for a strike, and it's one and one. No score here in the second. Ball. Just missed. We got two balls, one strike. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Throws to first in time. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Batting fifth, the shortstop. Paul. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two outs. Yep, that ball went out. That to right. And that is a foul ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Down in order go the White Sox. 
We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Cleveland, bottom of the second. Stepping up for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. Kopech back to work. That's Whoa, inside. Yeah. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Just nope, missed. This one popped up. The young under it. Puts it away for the out. Batting fifth. Batting. The third baseman. And up next for Cleveland, David Fry. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Right through there for a strike. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Got him swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that people that like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie. And you can see why. It's he not a looping that. slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Here's Andres Jimenez. Yeah, that's outside. Nice. And there's a strike. One and one. That one finds the zone. One and two. That's in the dirt. Two strikes. Wouldn't yeah, chase that down. time. High fly ball down the left field line. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And that is the third out of the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in Cleveland, Mickey Lopez up to the plate. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. When you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Off the plate, ball That's one. outside. And that is ball one. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good hey. defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. And it's strike two. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Bender for the strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and he can't make contact. Here's Corey Lee. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Deal one. 
ball Inside one there. Ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Top of the third, no score. Hey. Got him. Now two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Lennon Sosa in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. This to third. Zips it to Got first. It. And the White Sox go quietly. Nothing doing for the White Sox. And we are still scoreless. And we're back. Oh, we Set for the bottom of the third. So in now for Cleveland, Gabriel Arias. Gabriel Arias. And a pitch. The oh, shortstop sorry, takes the ball. ball. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, one strike. Just oh, missed. It's a 2-2. Two -two. And another ball. This one in the air. Lopez calls it in, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. The they look really good oh. coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Bo Naylor at the plate now. That just misses. Ball one. Nope, one and oh. Ball just missed. missed. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Coming on is Pham to make the play. Two down. Batting number. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Just missed. Swing and a miss. One and one. The one one. And one another ball. One that misses. Three and one now strike. three and one. Stephen Kwan waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the that's velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner down at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So if all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Ball yeah. batting for the second time, and that's strike one. 
two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in the last half of the third. Good That's eye the right there. Kopeka throw over, and he's back in easily. And the pitch. Rudder takes off in the air, fairly deep to right field. Fan snags it, and that will end the inning. Guardians lead one. Still no score. Welcome back Leave to the ballpark. Ball Start of the fourth. The right Here's Tommy Pham. Tommy Pham. The pitch. Pham. It is ninth season. 36 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. That hey. pitch clips the outside corner. And the count one and one. And that's down and away. comes a pitch swing and a miss <laughs> swing and a slow roller gathers and throws the first lead off and a retired in the fourth yeah, he looked a little tentative on that swing almost like he didn't get pitch recognition but he tried to slow his back down just to make contact I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark Ben intending in the box with one away as he takes ball one in the air of the infield Naylor gets under it Drops into the glove. Two away down. Now battle. The center fielder. Luis, Luis Robert now. Robert. Caught looking his first time up. That misses the zone. Ball one. the outside corner with that one. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Way back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. Onto the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. He turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And that one fouled off. The old one is outside and it's a ball and a strike. A little bit low. Two balls, one strike. The two one. Fouled off. He was late. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter who's prepared for it can get to it. But that one just had that little Whoa, jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Here's Jose Ramirez in there for strike one. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. In the air, right center. This is matched way back and just happened. That's 
not an easy one to stumble. Pitcher's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. One out, base is empty. So next will be the four hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. That ball misses, one. and that's ball one. All right, Singy, ball trivia one, no time. Play. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer no, for Frank. Cleveland. Uh, give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam! To the right That's side, right and it goes just foul. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. That one almost got him. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping up for the Guardians, David Fry. Wouldn't chase that time. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. To third. Third out, and that ends the frame. Cleveland with the solo shot to take an early lead. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Here in Cleveland, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Aloy Jimenez. The right-hander back to work. Late on that fastball. Oh, you know, right these White Sox, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. They're in the back half oh, of the game, game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Two, and another ball. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. Swing and a miss. Slider Two, right there. Two, Kicks and fires. Hard ground ball base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Andrew Vaughn now. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys now here. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second, no outs. Paul DeYoung will hit next. Hey. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Here comes the 0-1. And it skips into there. White Sox down to run. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one hammer, but pulled foul.
at the belt and fires. Swing three, got him swinging. And that is a big first out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead of the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now it's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Stays alive. One out. Runners at first and second. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 0-2. That's a little bit low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, he's showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. For well, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. And yeah, the batter now, Corey Lee, and fouled off. in the dirt first and second two down that one down the line and a base hit around third he scores to tie it up it's 1-1 gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one he pulled it hard into the outfield and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. So first and second with two outs. And here is Sosa to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Two on, two outs. Just off the inside edge. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch. But he backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Riding to the plate. Hey. Big swing and miss. One ball, two strikes. That no one outside. And that's ball two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. Fights it off. We'll see another. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Righty delivers. 
gets a piece and stays alive. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And he deals. And another ball. Tommy Pham up next for the White Sox. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. And that one handled. Off balance He's throw up. in time. They limit the damage here, but the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1 1. You're watching me. Baseball on the show. Back here in Cleveland, we head to the bottom of the fifth. So win now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. And here it comes. There's a strike at the knees. You know, these Guardians just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. You really can't pin it on one player because we've seen soft contact up and down this lineup. It's time to make some adjustments because this approach is just off. The pitch. Oh, left out. that off to the left and we'll do it again the cause for these struggles is a little different for each hitter for some it's timing and for others it's mechanics whatever it is they need to start hitting the ball harder not <laughs> close with that one and the count is even two and two now fly ball to right center Robert moves under it and there's one down the batter number 13. Garrett Crochet will take over here. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. And up next for Cleveland, Gabriel Arias. He popped out his first time. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Right through there for a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The wide to kick the pitch. Great. Got him looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Now got it. Bo Naylor oh. digs in for the Guardians. Fly to right his first time. And ball one. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Number 60 getting ready to go. Number 33 warming up as well. Wouldn't That's chase that good. time. All tied up. Last no, no. half of inning number five. And another ball. No, nope. I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And a four-pitch walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catch your mind when go talk to him. So two down. And now the center fielder, Tyler Freeman. First pitch misses for ball one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that one hammered way back there. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul.
the pitch. Fall off foul. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. And the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And now the lefty fouls it back with two strikes. That nope, one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Kicks and deals. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Headed for the plate. Relay throw home. He's safe. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lift it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. Clips the corner. <laughs> Cleveland up around looking for more. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Robert sizes this one up. And makes the grab. And the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Top six. Now it's the right fielder, Tommy Pham. The pitch. And nope. ball one of the right fielder. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound. Maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. The 1 0. Fouled off. He was late. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. And one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Ben Intendi to the plate. In for a strike. And it's all in one. Right-hander kicks, deals. And it skips in there. Got him looking. Two away. Task with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement. But you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And next to hit for the Sox, Luis Robert. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. White Sox down a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. And ball another ball. Down. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Two down, nobody on. That one's spoiled, and 
The count now two and one. And the right-hander deals. Ripped, but it curls foul. Two outs. And they'll do it again. Right side. Moving under this one. Pulls it in to end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Guardians two and the White Sox one. Back now at Progressive Field. Now the number two hitter, number 10. Crochet back to work. Pitch oh, misses. Right and it's one to no. Movement in the bullpen. Steven Wilson appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Rebia getting loose as well. The 1-0. Oh. Hey. Right through there for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. And oh. another ball. Damn. And a 2 1 on the way. And that one pulled foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little what late, opposite field not. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now, now, the, 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 the. Oh, now it's Jose Ramirez. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, boy, he, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. First offering is fouled off. Oh, Just missed. Then that drops in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Not ball, even close two there. Strikes. Two balls, two strikes. And that one off the outside edge. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Got it by him for the K. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still Double in the strike three, zone, three, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. That clips the inside corner for a strike. On one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. He's there. It's a two-out double. Everything came together for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Man at second here. He gets the attention to walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next yeah, batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get it out. First pitch misses. fly ball out to left field and that will end the inning 
Guardians strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Number 36. Now, well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Aloy Jimenez. One for two. And he deals. Clips the corner, and that is strike one. Looking to get the tying run on base. And fouled off. And a pitch. And that's in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Tim Heron, the left hand, up and throwing. Pinches, the power lefty, up as well. And a one two misses to even the count. And that's in the dirt. Andrew Vaughn in the on deck circle for the White Sox. Big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. So up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. Just Whoa, missed. That pitch in for a strike. And a count to the wall. Lifted in the air, right center field. Settles under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Paul DeYoung. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. That's that misses. Ball. And that's ball one. Count one and oh. Just off the inside edge. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. And ball another three. ball. Ooh, that's really good discipline. A 2-0 count. The opportunity to tie up the ball game with one swing. And it was close, but not to his liking. It's a good take. Kicks and fires. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Lopez having a lot more success on the road this season. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. But with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Beyond. Round second on his way to third. Coming home. He will score, and the White Sox tie it up. It's 2-2. 
two. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And it's scored position with two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Corey Lee fought off foul. And it's second. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. As he turns on the rubber here with that good live arm delivers strike on the inside corner on one man I mean nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was and the 0 2 that one missing inside 0 2 fastball way out of the zone I think he's trying to speed him off got to stay back off speeds probably coming Just misses the mark outside the zone. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at-bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Next pitch is downstairs. And here it comes. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are Aye. doing some special things with it. Nailer. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And there's a ball. That misses. And the count is two and two. That one clumped out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Anytime you can drive the ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And at second with one away, Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Next offering in there for a strike. The ball one one strike. One. the inside corner for a strike. Back 
Popped off the plate that time. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Big strikeout there as he works to strain that go ahead run at second base. But job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this whole crowd. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. The right field, number 10, Daniel. And now the right fielder, outfield playing pretty shallow. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. Pitch oh. misses there. And that oh, is no ball one. one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Up the middle. Dives and keeps it on the infield. They get the out, and that'll do it. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tanner Bybee. He has a great slider with tons of movement. White Sox making a move for pinch hitter. Gavin Sheets. Big spot for him here. A wind in the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. 0 oh 1. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Next pitch is outside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. In hard, that gets through. Tough spot for the pinch hitter, and he delivers. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity, and he came through for his club right there. Tommy Pham steps to the plate for the White Sox. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Ground ball right side. Nice stop. Fired to second. On the first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Awesome job of getting to that baseball. Really good dive there. Doesn't have time to get up to his feet, so he throws from the seat of his pants, and he throws on the money. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Now moved to first. Biden checks over to first, and he's back. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One away. Tie game. Go-ahead run stands at first. This one in the air. He's under it. Snags it for the second out. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And that one fouled off. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Biden with a move to first. Over to first, and he's safe. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. One hit, one left. 
Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. We are tied 2-2. Pitcher on the mound as we roll into the Double bottom of the eighth, hit. Stephen Wilson. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. So coming into the game now on defense, Danny Mendel. He's the new third baseman. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. He's already hungry here in this one. And a pitch. High fly ball out towards left field. Carrying well. See you later. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they lead it. It's 3 2. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. out of the bullpen, a top line. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Nailer. The next to hit takes outside. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Out off left side. Righty to the plate. Hard hit to third. Tosses across the first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Number six. Fry. Here's the third baseman, David Fry. the zone going one. well in a bat can be a little bit of a dance strike one here but a few more pitches we'll see how it turns out one out base is empty and a run in here the bottom half of the eighth inning clips the outside corner oh and two now flew open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive Three. got him swinging that's a pretty nasty pitch right there I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s it's got now so much spin on it and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit it was a good one for the swinging strikeout commit in now takes ball one off the plate Late on that fastball. One ball, one strike. Right-handed reliever. Ball two. He swings and fouls one off. Now that's smack to right center. And it gets by him. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Runner at third, two gone. Now it's the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. That hey. one's in there. Strike one. Runner at third, two away.
the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. Guardians three, and the White Sox two. Emmanuel Classe. This guy's a strike player. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. Eloy Jimenez now. One for three. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. It's the slider in there for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball. Speed him up and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Good job to fight that one off. At the belt and fires. Yeah. And, looking. and a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. In position, pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. White Sox down to their final out. Paul DeYoung, the next to hit. There's a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. The White Sox down to their final strike. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two down, nobody on. One ball, two straight. That two one ball, way outside. Two, two balls, two strikes. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Stays alive. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And that'll do it. The Guardians hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come out in the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this.